What? A game lounge at an airport? Why didn't I see this sooner? We see that type of reaction all the time. Now, I was a veteran in Afghanistan. I uh, uh, was in the Army eight years. And when we went on some really difficult missions and some really hard times, and the one thing that we did every single time when we came back to de-stress and, and to lower that uh, the issues that we were having was play video games. We were coming from C concourse to B concourse and came down this elevator and my son saw it right away. We've been on vacation and he's missed Fortnite, so he sees the great graphics and the monitors and we have a long layover, so he's like, Dad, can I play? I turned the corner and I saw it and I was like, Mom, we need to go there. Didn't expect to come here and win and it was my first game. How was your nap? <laughs> my nap was pretty good, pretty relaxing. <laughs> Just chill in the chair. It's a nice, comfortable chair. Works for me. There you go, bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. We had a, a lady in here who was 65 years old, who had never gamed her life, has always seen her grandchildren play, and she thought, well, what the heck, I got a lot of time. She was hooting and she was hollering, oh, so when her God. character happened to fall down a cliff, she was starting to scream and yell as if she was falling down a cliff. We had a father and son, a father who had never played video games before, ever. And they thought, wow, this is the opportunity for them to try, uh, try a game, and I think they're trying Fortnite together. So the son was teaching the dad how to play Fortnite, and by the time they were done, the dad looks at us and goes, well, it looks like it's time for me to buy an Xbox.